more Alporn facts. Uh, these are formed cutting down the uh, length of the pipe. It was all one piece. Cut down the middle of it, hollow it out. Uh, you can even see where it's joined together if you look closely at the bell. And then it's wrapped in this rattan on the outside. Um, there are uh, different mouthpieces you can use. This is a nice wooden mouthpiece that's designed for the instrument. Or if you're a wonderful trombone player like Ed, you can buy a little attachment and put your trombone mouthpiece on it. Probably the best people to play these things are French horn players. So if you were a French horn player in high school, perfect instrument for you. These are limited as to what notes you can play. It's just like a bugle. We have no holes on here, we have no slides, we have nothing else. So the notes that you can play are basically, let me see if I can get the lowest note on the Alphorn, the pedal tone. That's the low one, that's a low G. So rather sounding a bit like Tibetan horns. So I can only go so far because I'm a tuba player and those high notes are hard for me. But as you go higher and higher, you can get a more melodic sound. Uh, you can get notes more like a scale. But in the lower area, they're much more like bugles. Um, so here's another bugle-like call. Let's give it a try. Um, and uh, the embouchure, or the, uh, the way that you play the instrument, um, is just like playing a brass instrument. So if anyone hasn't done that, I usually tell them, pretend you're a horse and go So can everybody give that a try? Excellent. And then you just tighten that up, press your lips together a little harder, you get something like that. And if you practice a lot, you can get specific pitches. You go <laughs> and then refine it by having a little cup-shaped mouthpiece. <laughs> and then you put it in the instrument and it sounds, hopefully, better. So it's a very simple instrument. Uh, so if any of you can uh, build something like this, you have a wonderful party instrument. If you want to decorate your Alphorns, you'll notice, um, we'll try and hold these up, uh, but they have some very nice flower patterns on the bottom. Let's hear it for Dart Zubis, accordion player extraordinaire. There is wood inside that thing. Yes. And the, um, though the reeds are metal, I think they're held on by beeswax. Is that still the case? Wow. Keep it in your hot car. Don't put it in a hot car. Speaking of cars, um, how did we get here, you wonder? What kind of car do I drive? Um, don't have to drive a truck for this. Uh, these days, you can take them apart. Uh, they come apart in three places. Ed, do you want to show them generally? Just take one part apart there. Good. Um, so the original ones, of course, would have been one long tree. 
but we have some brass fittings here, so it ends up looking like a sack of golf clubs. Uh, so you can get them on airlines and other things. Um, so off we go. Let's go to the Alps again. Here we go. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, give us a little rhythm. A little I don't think we have all those notes. Recognize that as a Lichtensteiner polka. Uh, how many people have been to Oktoberfests? Any part of the world? <laughs> great. There's a lot of great Oktoberfests here in Southern California. And you will see uh, Alphorns played at some of the Oktoberfests, even though they are Swiss and not German. But uh, this is part of the tradition nowadays. Uh, okay, let's try a, um, a different Alphorn call here. Thank <laughs> you. 